Hey guys, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again, here to talk to you again about uh, uh, Avid Advanced Timeline Techniques. And this is uh, Advanced Timeline Techniques Part 2. So if you haven't seen the first video, I would recommend going over to that one and giving it a good look-see because the first part of this was mainly about uh, clip info and uh, and naming stuff and you know changing fonts and uh, moving moving tracks around and all that kind of stuff really neat stuff that will come in handy I promise so uh, go check it out and uh, for this tutorial we're going to be talking mostly about customizing some stuff like like we could uh, find different ways to select tracks and make colored clips in our bin windows and and really cool stuff like adding colors to your timeline and making it all tutti fruity and and uh really tropical looking if you want to. I know a lot of people that make uh some pretty interesting looking setups. But anyway, um other than that we're gonna be talking about um toggle source record buttons, which we've never talked about before. And uh it's a pretty neat little button. But also we're gonna be going over a few more options that we can uh mess with with the locators that we taught earlier in another tutorial. So if you haven't watched any of my other videos, um, I always say that I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user and also I'm an Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't make me in any way a certified instructor for either of those programs because I'm not. I'm doing this for your guys' benefit because I realize that it's hard to learn all these things on your own without someone having to teach you. and. Online videos seem to be the way. I mean, I always go to...